Do you want to know what the best and brightest small business owners are doing right now? Well, stay tuned to this video and I'm going to share some of those secrets with you. Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Ascentage, Tucson's premier accounting firm. So right now in this moment, during COVID and kind of coming out of the end of COVID or kind of post COVID or the height of COVID, we've been talking to a lot of our clients and we've had our finger on the pulse, so to speak. And what the best small business owners and the brightest small business owners are doing right now is they're taking this opportunity to be a true student of their business. So this idea of taking this moment to be a student of your business kind of goes hand in hand with the philosophy we're always talking about in terms of always keeping your edge, always looking for that edge in small business when moments like this arise. So what does it mean to be a true student of your business in this moment, to use this time to reflect and in being a student of your business, look to make enhancements in the future? Well, I'm gonna run through a few things that we notice that the best small business owners are doing right now. One is they're thinking about if something like this were to happen again, whether it's a second wave of COVID, another pandemic, or just a disruptive event, how would they do things differently? I mean, think about that. If you had the opportunity to prepare yourself and do it all over, knowing what COVID entailed and how business was disrupted, how would you do it over again? How would you prepare differently? Not just from a personal perspective within your business in terms of the processes, but how would you make sure your business model is prepared for something like that? One of the other things that a lot of really great small business owners are doing right now, you know, Things might be a little bit slower than usual, um, you know, sales may be down or just in terms of what your day looks like, you might be working from home or have a little bit more of that kind of, I don't want to say downtime because I know everybody's working, but a little bit more of that flex time. Well, the best small business owners right now, they're taking this opportunity to really sink their teeth into their financial information and metrics from their financial information that are really relevant to their business. And they're looking at that financial information um, in two ways. They're looking at it kind of like pre-COVID during and during COVID, you know, what was the effects of COVID? And in looking at both those things, they're thinking post COVID. So they're using these numbers to really assess how well their business performed pre COVID. Um, it, it, and it might not have been optimized. Their profitability in business might not have even been optimized uh, pre-COVID, but they're using this opportunity to take that time to sink their teeth into the financial information. And then they're looking at the impacts of COVID and ultimately how they can use the information from these financials and these numbers to optimize their business post-COVID and ensure that they not only survive, but have the opportunity to thrive financially. Now, even though we don't know exactly what uh, it looks like what the business world or the small business world looks like going forward. I think we all have this general sense that we're not going back to the way things were. There is kind of this new normal upon us. And yes, that's yet to be completely defined. But in acknowledging that, another thing that the kind of best and brightest small business owners are doing right now is they're tinkering with their business model. They're thinking about, hey, um, my business model in terms of what goods do I provide or what services do I provide and how do I provide them, who do I provide them to, what's my market, who's my demographic, they're rethinking all of that. They're rethinking all of that knowing this new normal is coming. So again, this is the time to really put your thinking cap on, so to speak, and you know, definitely use those financials and that those metrics and the numbers, but at the same time, use that information and think about, well, how can I tinker with my business model with what I do and how I do it and who I provide uh, my goods or services to um, post COVID and in the future, knowing that this new normal is upon us. Um, this might also entail repositioning or like a complete repositioning of your business in the marketplace. Um, and your marketplace is unique to your business. It might be more localized. You might be, you, your competition might be more of on a regional scale or you might compete with national brands and be just have like a niche product. But uh, in terms of, you know, thinking about tinkering with your business model, does that entail completely repositioning your brand or repositioning your business. The last thing I want to mention is, and it's low hanging fruit, it's an easy thing that anyone can do, any small business owner can do. You have this time now, dive into all those elements I mentioned before that a lot of small business owners are doing. But here's another thing that a lot of great business owners do just on a continuous basis. They read a lot, 
They talk to their peers. They listen. Um, this is just that general, that, that general mindset of being that student. Um, you know, there's a great saying, if you're dedicated to always learning, then the best version of yourself is always yet to come. So again, use this opportunity during COVID and post COVID while you have the time to be a little more thoughtful about these things, um, to be a student of your business. And that way, the best version of your small business is yet to come. So as always, if you have any questions or comments you want to share, go ahead and feel free to leave those in the area below. Um, definitely keep subscribing or subscribe if you haven't before um, to our YouTube channel. Uh, we keep posting relevant content related to everything going on during COVID, now post COVID, or as we come to the, you know, the end of kind of the peak of COVID, COVID and the impacts on small business. And we'll keep delivering content that's relevant to all you small business owners out there to keep bringing you kind of tips and tricks, information, and, and, and just kind of um, what we see as some of the best practices from other great small business owners and what's going out there in the small business community. So as always, this is Anthony from Ascentage, hoping everybody out there staying safe and healthy.